Hello and welcome to setting up your account to do EC2. Um, there's like nine gajillion videos on the internet on setting up an EC2 or a Amazon account, so I'm not going to make one because that seems like a waste of time. So go ahead and Google how to create an Amazon account and sign up for an AWS account. Create your key pair. Keep a copy of your access key ID and your secret access key somewhere. And I highly recommend downloading that CSV file. I keep a copy of my key pass as well and create a security group, which is a firewall. And uh, we'll actually do that part. So we're going to pretend that we already signed up for AWS and then we have a key pair. Cool. Congratulations. You have an AWS account and a key pair. So uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a security group. So I'm going to go in EC2. Remember, security groups a firewall. Uh, and you're going to see under network and security, that's where you're going to find security groups. And let's see what this wants us to do. So sign up, create a key pair. Yeah, we did that. Congratulations. OK, so security groups act as a firewall for associated instances, controlling both inbound and outbound traffic at the instance level. Important to know, security groups at the instance level. You must add rules to a security group that enable you to connect to your instance from your IP address using SSH. You can also add rules that allow inbound and outbound HTTP and HTTP access from anywhere, i.e. 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0. If you plan to launch instances in multiple regions, you need to create a security group in each region. Again, instance level. So what are the prerequisites? Well, you need an IP address to your local computer. Um, fun fact, if you create a security group, it knows your IP. You can set it to my IP and it will just know your IP address. So we'll skip that part. The security group editor and the Amazon EC2 console can automatically detect your IP address. Well, thanks, Amazon. You gave away. OK, I gave away the secret. Sorry. Alternatively, you can use the search phrase, what's my IP address in the internet browser and get your IP. Cool. All right. So we're going to do everything from the new console. And, uh, and and we'll do it from the command line after that too, just for fun. So let's create a security group. So we're gonna open the console, done. And then from the navigation bar, we're gonna select a region for the security group. Okay, cool, so let's do that. So here is my console, and I'm gonna select Oregon. Cool, US West 2, done. Now choose security groups and choose create security group okay so we cho we chose security groups look at all these security groups i have and now we're going to create a security group okay create security group let's do this because it's the 21st century all right in the basic details section do the following enter a name for the new security group and a description Use a name that is easy for you to remember, such as your username, followed by underscore SG underscore, plus the region name. For example, me, security group, US West 2. Let's do that. So my username is J Furlong, security group, and we're going to be in US West 2. Look at that. We're in the same, well, I'm in the same region. And a description. Uh, so let's make a description. Allow. SSH to my instances in the US West 2 region. In the VPC selection, select your default VPC for the region. Well, this is probably the default because it says default, so we're just going to leave it at that one. In the inbound rules section, create the following rules. Okay, so we're going to add a rule and we're going to say uh, we want HTTP from the type, so we're going to allow HTTP traffic, which automatically chose port 80 for me, and make sure the source is set to anywhere. So we're going to allow HTTP traffic from where? From 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, .0, 0. And description is optional. It doesn't say that we need to set it, so we're not going to. And now we have an inbound firewall rule. So now we need another one for HTTPS. So let's add that one. So I'm going to find HTTPS 
port 443 and I'm going to open this to the entire world as well because I love security so much and then I said that we're going to make this to allow SSH we're going to choose SSH does anybody know what port SSH is on that's right Dora port 22 okay so and where do we want to choose that from uh, let's let's see what it says it's probably my IP so um, choose my IP there you go so you can do custom and you can put in a CIDR range anywhere which would be 0, 0, 0, 0 or my IP I have uh, this is my IP right now if you try to hack me good luck because I'm just going to switch my IP address after this because this is not my actual IP it's just an ephemeral IP that is given to me so jokes on you hackers uh, if your company allocates address ranges specify the entire range all right so for your company right so you probably have a subnet I don't know why in the hell this would be your IP address but if this was what you were rocking then that would be your subnet range it'd be a slash 24 on that side of range and then you choose create security group okay cool so notice we didn't do anything with outbound we're not going to do any outbound traffic we just want to connect to it right all right so we're not going to do any tags we're just going to click create security group and there we have it now i have a security group so it doesn't say anything to do with this security group um but just to test this out like it's set up to use ec2 if i went over here the getting started tutorial i bet the first thing it has you do is to create an instance using the security group that you made launch an instance connect i bet you let's let's check and see we're just looking ahead instance type select an existing security group select your security group from the list see so we already made one so we can use this for next time um so i'll just save this for now so basically when you set up your account before you actually provision anything if you want to be able to connect a you need an account b you need an access key id and a secret access key and c you need a security group that actually allows you to connect to stuff um so that's that's it that's that's all there is to it so as far as getting started goes um that's the basics of just setting up your stuff to be ready to go when you're finished you will be ready for amazon to easy to getting started tutorial which get ready for the commercial we'll cover after these messages